Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I will show you how to change the row height or column width in Excel. By default, the rows and columns appear with specific height and width. Sometimes when you enter data in the cells, the rows and columns might adjust to the height and width of the content. Let us see the five methods to change row height in Excel. Let's get right into it. The first method is a prevalent and frequently used way to change row height or column width in Excel. First, identify the cell you want to change the height or width of. If you want to change the row height, place your cursor on the row headings on the left side of the sheet. Once you hover over the row or column headers, you can see the mouse pointer change to a double-sided resize pointer. Now, by holding the left mouse button, drag to the desired height. Leave the mouse button. This sets the height of the particular row. In the same way, you can change the column width to get a perfect readable view. There's also a very fast and easy method to change row height in Excel. Instead of altering the row height or column width, this method sets the height or width to perfectly fit the content in the cell. Place the mouse pointer in between the rows where you want to change the height. You can see the mouse pointer change to a double-sided resize pointer. Double-click on the place and you can see the row height change to fit the content in the cell. You can see that if the row or column is expanded, double-clicking on the row shortens it. On the other hand, if the row is shortened, double-clicking expands it. In most cases, when changing the row height, you would aim to make the contents of the cell visible. To make the content visible, first select the cell you want to adjust the height. Navigate to Home. Under the Cell section, click on the drop-down from Format. Since we want to adjust the row height, click on Auto Fill Row Height. This instantly adjusts the row height to fit the content of the cells. This way you can adjust the row height for any number of cells altogether. Also, there might be times when you have to set the row height or column width to a specific value. To specify the height or width, select the rows that you want to change the height. To do this, navigate to the row header where you can see the mouse pointer change to an arrow. Left click and hold the mouse pointer to select the rows. Now, right click on the row headings and select Row Height. This opens the Row Height dialog box. Select the row height you want and click OK. This sets the row height to the specific units you have entered. If you're not satisfied with the row height, you can select the rows, change the value again, and click OK. One advantage is that when you use this method and set the row height, all the rows will have the same height making the spacing look aesthetically similar. The final method is to use keyboard shortcuts. Using keyboard shortcuts, also known as hotkeys, you can change the row height in Excel. Select the rows you want to change height either by clicking on the left mouse button and dragging them. Press the Alt key. This opens up the hotkeys layout in the Excel window. Now press H and then O. You can see the keyboard shortcut keys, which correspond to the specific options in the format dropdown. If you want to set the row height to a specific value, press H. In case you want to auto fit the row height to the content in the cells, press A. In the same way, you can change the column width easily using the shortcut keys. Press the keys Alt plus H plus O plus W one after the other to change the column width. That is all everyone. Changing the row height or column width is a very essential feature that provides the user with simplified data that is easy to read and understand. In this video, we saw how to change row height in Excel five easy ways. Using the same methods, you can also change the column width. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there. 
and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.